everybody and welcome to Living Plant-Based with Rosie. So today we're going to make a delicious cauliflower cracker slash bread. So you could use this either way. You could use it as a cracker or as a bread and here it is as you can see it is um, very thin and very delicious and made out of cauliflower. So we're gonna be making this and you only need seven ingredients. It's very easy, very simple, and I hope you guys do try this recipe because it is delicious. So you're gonna need cauliflower. I have a whole cauliflower chopped. You're not gonna use the whole cauliflower, but I do have one that's um, chopped up already. You're gonna need three-fourths of a cup of almonds. Make sure they've been soaked and drained. You're gonna need three-fourths of a cup of uh, water. You're gonna need a fourth cup of chia seeds. Yeah, that's about a fourth cup. And you're gonna need a teaspoon and a half of dry oregano or parsley, whichever you prefer. You're gonna need a fourth teaspoon of white uh, ground pepper, one teaspoon of pink Himalaya salt, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put our chia seeds into the water. And once they're in the water, we're gonna mix those up very well, like this. And we're gonna refrigerate this for a couple of minutes in the refrigerator and it's gonna um, get um, into, it's gonna turn into like a gel consistency, a very little, thick gel consistency and that's what you're looking for so we're going to go ahead and refrigerate that right now um you can leave that in there for about 20 minutes but we're going to leave it while we do the rest of the recipe which is very very simple you're going to get your almonds and you're going to put them in the food processor and you're going to ground them up and it doesn't take long They look, let me see, where's my spatula? Oh, here it is. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so that looks pretty good. It looks like it's ground up really well, but I'm gonna ground it up just a little bit more so I don't get those chunks of uh, almonds in my crackers. Okay, so that's fine. Now, what we're gonna do is we are gonna put this in the bowl. It's very easy, very good. So, what I, um, I have a cheese spread that I made, a garlic cheese spread. I'll be making a video for that soon as well. And it's actually a raw um, cashew garlic cream cheese that I make, like cheese spread that I make. And my husband just absolutely loves spreading these on the crackers as a snack. And uh, as I said in my video, my last video where I made the chili, I said that I use these crackers for, and we use them for our chili. So that's how we stay plant-based and try to stay away from flour or other breads and stuff that's unhealthy. So now we're going to put the cauliflower, but we're going to put a little bit at a time. Because when I do this recipe sometimes, not all the ca cauliflower gets blended. So what we're going to need is about three cups of shredded, um, shredded, not shredded, I would say ground up cauliflower. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn that on. Got my cup, I'm going to measure the cauliflower, the shredded cauliflower in the cup. Yeah, that seems to be good. Last time I filled it up with all the cauliflower and it wouldn't ground up. Okay. Oh, that looks perfect. So this is what you're looking for. That consistency of ground cauliflower. And we're going to take the blade out. And let me start filling up this cup. I'm trying to hurry up and do this, make this recipe before I lose the natural light. It's a very gloomy, cloudy day over here in Utah. And that's why there's not a lot of light coming in. 
the windows and I like to use the natural light because when I use the, the light in the kitchen it tends to turn my videos a little bit more yellow okay so that's one cup so now we're gonna ground up a little bit more and I'm gonna show you with the rest of my cauliflower I'm gonna show you guys how to make cauliflower mashed potatoes in another video as well I'm um, actually that's a recipe that I make through for the holidays when I uh, prep cook food for the holidays for our family okay so let's ground that don't want to put too much in there so we're gonna need two more cups it really is a quick recipe you guys it doesn't take long Again, that's what you want to see. Take my blade out. So go fill this up. Actually, so I need this cup and another one. So I'll be right back when I'm done and I get all the three cups done. Okay. All right. So I'm back and the chia seed in the water is ready and that's how it looks like a little thick gel. And um, I already put all my three cups of cauliflower in with the with the, the ground up almonds so you're gonna make a hole right in the center of the bowl like so and we're gonna put our chia seeds in there right in the center so the funny thing about this recipe is that my husband does not like cauliflower he's not a cauliflower fan but he for some reason he loves these crackers he was he actually didn't want to try them the first time I made them because he's like I don't like cauliflower I go but try them try them you'll really really like these crackers and he did and he ended up loving them okay so that's in the middle now you're gonna put your uh, oregano the pepper white pepper and the teaspoon of pink Himalaya salt and you could add a little bit more salt if you like um, I don't like putting a lot of salt and using a lot of salt in the food. My husband likes things saltier and sweeter. I tend to go for a little less salt and a little less sweet, but it's all up to you. Uh, regardless, I put a teaspoon and um, I still get a lot of flavor from the crackers because of the cauliflower and the almonds. It's very delicious. But like I said, go ahead and put a little more salt if you guys uh, prefer more salt. Make sure it's a uh, uh, good sea salt or uh, Himalaya pink salt something with minerals Not the white table salts because those are very unhealthy. They're bleached and they put a chemical so it doesn't clump together So and stripped of all the minerals and vitamins because they tend to sell those to a uh, health stores And then give you guys just the white product. Okay, so you want to mix it in very well because you want those chia seeds to um Mix in well with the cauliflower and the almonds. You want it to evenly mix and you don't want clumps of anything. You want it to be well mixed. So go ahead, let me see. Actually, let me use a spoon. That's gonna mix it up a little bit faster than the spatula. So once it's really mixed really well, you're gonna get a cookie sheet. And this is basically gonna fill the cookie sheet. Oh, by the way, I got this recipe from um, Holistic Healthy Living, and they use a recipe for a um, pizza crust. So I tried this as a pizza crust, and it's so delicious. So for the pizza crust, you just have to kind of leave it a little thicker. And when you um, bake it, actually, I forgot to tell you too, preheat your oven at 400 ahead of time. So 400 degrees, and if you want the pizza crust, you're gonna leave this in the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. Then you're gonna take it out, put your uh, toppings, your pizza toppings, and then put it back in for another 15, 20 minutes. I would say about 15 minutes should be good. But and today, in this case, we're only gonna make the, the crackers or the bread this is gonna be our bread for our holiday meal this year for Thanksgiving so
So that's why I've been making the recipe a lot because we just really, really love it. And what a great, it's such a good thing to have an alternative to, um, to bread during the holidays. Okay, so what you're gonna need is a cookie sheet and I lined mine with um, a silicone pad. You can use, I think you can use parchment paper. I haven't tried it with the parchment paper, but I tried it with the silicone pad. So you're gonna put the whole mixture in there and kind of form like a ball. And make sure you wash your hands really good. Take off your jewelry like I did. And I always have this little nail scrubber by the sink and I scrub my nails every time and I scrub my hands with this before putting my hands in food, okay? Very important, you guys. Make sure you get that, you do that. So now, I'm forming like a little, almost like a sausage ball. You want, you want to form it right along the middle. And this is very important because we are going to be spreading this along the whole sheet. So once you get this done, right in the center like this, it's going to be easy. And it's really rich in water content right now because of the cauliflower. So once it gets in the oven, all that is going to cook out. So you want it like this. That's how you want it. And from this, you start pressing and taking it all the way to the sides. And depending how thick you want it. If you want this crunchy, you make it as thin as you um, possibly can, only on the sides of the mat. Don't go further because that will make it too thin. So I found that this, the cookie sheet, and the size of the silicone pad is perfect size for you to get that that cracker thin thinness now you can leave it a little bit uh, smaller in the pan and make it a little bit thicker and just make sure it cooks through for the bread so i'm gonna finish this and i'll be back here it is it's all done i already finished spreading it as you can see it's uh covering the whole silicone pad except the little green sides you can see them a little bit and what I did is I went ahead and I did a little lift on the sides because, and I do that actually when I make this for pizza, but sometimes I forget. And what happens when I forget, it gets too um, brown on the edges like that. And if you don't want it like that, uh, doing the lift helps. So we're gonna go ahead and put this in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes first. You're gonna check it and you're gonna put it back in if it's not golden brown for another 15 to 20 minutes because it does take a while because you want it this color. Remember, this is the color it goes in and you're looking for this color when it's done. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the 400 degree oven and I'll be back when it's done. Okay, so it's all finished. Here it is, a beautiful golden brown. So I already took a little piece up of, out of the corner. It kind of broke off very easily because I didn't wait for it to cool down completely, but that's what it looks underneath like that. So once you it cools down completely, hopefully it'll be a little bit stiffer and it won't fall apart so easy. And you guys can use a little spatula and just kind of go easy between the silicone pad and the cracker to remove it from the pad. But yeah, that's how it looks. What happened to this one, I checked on it after 30 minutes. And since I lifted the corners, as you can see, it worked. It didn't brown them too much. They were actually still really, really soft and white. So I left it in for another 25 minutes. So you guys could go ahead and do that. The longer you leave it in there, the browner it gets. It gets a little harder. Uh, if you take it out sooner, it'll be a little bit softer the way I uh, this one was. And I have some garlic cashew cheese spread that I make and I'll be bringing this video soon to my Living Raw with Rosie channel. Stay tuned for that. But um, yeah, I got some and I spread it on a little piece of the cracker like so and I tried it and it was so good. But I'm gonna go ahead and taste this one again, the one I took from here and let you guys know how good it is without the sauce. Mmm. Oh, yummy, that is so good, you guys. You could literally just eat this like this by itself. 
but like I said, try the recipe for the holidays and use spreads on them. Use it as a pizza crust. Let it sit, let it dry, um, cool down, and you go use it as a cracker for your soups. We use it as a cracker for our, our uh, my chili soup that I made uh, on the last video. But yeah, if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll continue to bring great ideas for you guys to stay plant-based and healthy, heart healthy during the holidays. And um, I'll be playing around with my recipes and perfecting them a little bit more. Um, they're not perfect, but go ahead you guys and add or take ingredients out that you think will um, benefit your, the recipe and cater it to your, to your taste. But hopefully I give you the staples that you can start with so you guys can have great recipes and once again thank you guys don't forget to follow me on facebook living plant-based with rosie i do have another channel living raw with rosie and you guys can follow me there as well you guys have a wonderful day and thank you so much